Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a IMATS haul slash insider bag review. I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got from my insider bag this year. IMATS did have a new pass, which was called the insider pass. And with that pass, you got an IMATS insider swag bag if you will and that bag was full of goodies ranging from palettes to lip products from various brands that were at the show along with both days admission and you also got early admission on saturday which was greeted with um, mimosas and a meet and greet with Francesca Tola and Ofra. So that was really cool. It was a nice experience. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys everything I got in that insider bag and also what I purchased at IMATS. As you can see from the baggage behind me, I did do some damage. I bought a lot of stuff. So I definitely want to share with you guys everything that I got. And hopefully you guys are excited as I am about all this new makeup because it's been a while since I've gotten into a really big haul. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start off with the insider bag. So in the insider bag, this is what it came in. It's a very cool little backpack. And it says, I'm at International Makeup Artist Trade Show Insider Pass. So it lets you know what kind of pass you did get. And inside, there are a ton of goodies. I've already gone through this. So I will say that this bag is definitely worth the money that you pay. Um, uh, some of the palettes in here alone are $150. So that is... In its own that you got for free is worth it in my opinion um one thing that i will say is that um the time difference really isn't that much it's an hour that you get um to be in there with you know before general admission so that is nice to have that free hour before everybody else gets in there and it gets even more crowded but um the bag itself really made the price make sense so in here starting off i'm just gonna put this down and go through it so first thing that we got is the ofra on the glow highlighting bronze highlighting and bronzing palette so it has blissful it has egyptian clay americano california dream Beverly Hills Highlighter and Rodeo Drive, which this one I have heard a lot of good things about. So I'm sure this one is going to be worth it on its own, but um, this palette, these pan sizes are huge. So I'm sure this alone does cost $150, but it was pretty crazy that Insider Pass did get this for free. So this on its own is a good um, item for them to include. Next, we got the Morphe 8H High School. Hi-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer palette. So this palette has eight shades in it and it is a bronzing and highlighting palette. To show you this is what the component looks like. So these are the shades. Very pretty, very neutral. I feel like this is more on the medium side. It could work for darker skin tones as well but it's very pretty. As you can see the highlight colors are nice there so I'm definitely looking forward to playing with this and seeing how well the bronzers and highlights highlights perform so don't really have that much highlighting and bronzing stuff as you guys know I use the morphe um, blush palette and I love that one so if this can be a new good bronzing palette then I'm all for it from Alcone company they gave us eight makeup sponge wedges so these always come in handy if you're a freelance makeup artist so this is really nice to give um, next we got, this was the interesting item in the bag. When I saw this, I was like, what the heck? But um, it is pretty cool. So we got the Glam Light Quick Crease, um, the perfect cut crease tool. So basically, this tool, you put your concealer on this little plate right here. And then that plate, you just press onto your eye. And it gives you the perfect cut crease every time. I thought that was quite interesting because I was like... Who in the world uses this? But I guess it comes in handy if you're a beginner and you just want to learn. This is a great tool to use. So I thought that was pretty cool that they put that in there. Then we got a, a Sistar uh, Eye Contour Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Can never go wrong with these. We got some Ardell Mega Volume Eyelashes. And these are the Never Flat Curl Technology ones. From Lime Crime, we got a Vel Vel Velveteers, sorry, I can never pronounce that, liquid lipstick, and it is in the shade Mercury. So if you can see it here, 
it's like a very sparkly violet purple almost but it's very pretty um i don't know if i would personally wear this but it's a pretty color to have next from mac we got a lip tensity lipstick this one is in the shade blue beet so again another color i don't think i would wear maybe i'll throw this in a giveaway but as you can see it's a very bright or i should say dark blue lipstick so i don't think i would play with color like this maybe for like halloween or something i don't know but in general on an everyday basis probably not so this might go in a giveaway let's see but the next i got the nyx worth the hype mascara so this one is a very nice mascara i've tried this before um and it is very volumizing so love that then we got from mud makeup designery um we got the eye color in tea tree so this is a very pretty green shade i love greens i'm so obsessed with these all the time so to add another one to my collection can't go wrong then we also got a suva beauty eyeshadow this is like a brown almost like a brownish copper color and this is in the shade city of angels so very pretty like that then there is a Ellie Maya foundation brush. I feel like for me personally, I like my foundation brushes to be a lot stiffer just because they blend a lot better. But I'll give this one a try and see how it works. So this one, very cute. Next we got a Makeup Forever HD powder. And this one is in just um, the translucent shade. So can bake with this one here so this is the micro finishing powder so I'm very excited to try this I've heard about this before but I've never picked it up for myself so definitely gonna try that out we got a bioderma uh, makeup removing micelle solution this one I have heard so much about I've seen it on YouTube a million times I've seen YouTube gurus or makeup gurus I should say use this and I've never gone to try it but I'm definitely going to try it now that I have it um, it's supposed to take off um, all of your makeup and it's also very good for sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin and you've tried this let me know definitely want to see what the hype is about uh, next we got another eyeshadow from Suva Beauty this is a niche Shade Emerald City and is exactly that name it is a very pretty emerald green so I'm very excited to have that so we got a lipstick in the shade 16 f1 by bedellium tools so this nice lipstick right here and this one was a very pretty red color so you can see how bright that is but it's very very pretty um a sister I don't know if it's sister or a sister cosmetics we got the glam up mega curling mascara so super excited to try this one too it looks like it makes your eyelashes very full so um we shall see if this is a good one then we also got from ardell uh, matte whipped lipstick in break the record so it's like this corally pink color it's picking up a little bit more red on camera but it is actually like a soft coral they also included the Makeup Artist Magazine 20th Anniversary Issue. So this just kind of has like different things in makeup, special effects, all the craziness. It's pretty cool. So that is the last thing in this insider bag. So in my opinion, I definitely think this insider pass was worth it i hope they keep it around for next year um one thing that i will say is that it did include a lot of things that i've never tried that i would not personally pick up if i was walking by unless i would have heard of it so um it's giving me a lot of new stuff to try so i definitely think in that aspect it's um giving you a wide range of different cosmetics from you know makeup removers to tools to um lipsticks palettes all that stuff so i would definitely recommend getting it if it's available for the the next shows that are coming on for this year but I would definitely recommend getting it because if they do offer it for these other shows because it was a great deal and I did get general admission or admission to both Saturday and Sunday I didn't go Sunday because um, if I would have gone Sunday I would have done way more damage than I needed to so Saturday was more than enough for me but it was nice going to the reception having mimosas 
getting to go in early so that was really nice um if you don't really care for all that stuff then the bag might just be worth it to get the insider pass and the difference was one from 55 being general admission and 175 being the insider pass so it is a little bit of a spike in price but it is worth it for all the products that you do get so definitely think you guys should do this if you are planning on attending imats next year or if there are any shows coming up that they will um offer the insider pass too so moving on to my actual haul on stuff that I personally bought there. I got a lot of good stuff that I'm excited to share with you guys. So starting first at Namie's. Um, Namie's always has a lot of good brands like Joseph Colors, Anastasia Beverly Hills, all of those good brands. So um, Joseph Colors and Anastasia weren't there this year, but they did have their products at Namie. So I thought that was really cool. Um, some things that I picked up there um, were from Joseph Colors. So I was able to pick up the Dose of Colors Seriously Lip Gloss. This is their new formula that they launched. And it is such a pretty color. If you see here, it's like a nude, almost like a warmish pink brown color. And it's super, super pretty. And I put this on yesterday just to try it. And it did not feel sticky at all. Like, you know those ones that are just like, you just feel like you have gunk on your lips? It didn't feel like that at all. It was very, very pretty, very comfortable. And it stayed on for a really long time because I did eat once I got home. So that was really nice that it stayed on. Um, then I was able to pick up their new lip liners that they just launched. They had a range of colors. And when I tell you, it was like so overwhelming because I was like, which one do I get? And I didn't know if I wanted to get a ton or just try one and then get some later on. So I just decided to go with a nude and I got the shade dime so this is dime lip liner i like the packaging because it's very sleek it almost feels like a real pencil and in, if you go in here it is retractable but it does have a built-in sharpener as well so that you can get it nice and sharp thought it was very nice the pigmentation is totally there if you see like it's very very nice so I'm excited to use this and it did pair really nicely with the lip gloss that I got so it's like might as well just get the matching lip liner because why not. Then I got another Desi and Katie Fuego highlighter. If you guys know, you know that I am obsessed with this highlighter. I have another, I have two right now, one that I currently use every day, one that I have as backup and now a third one that I will also have as backup because I am obsessed. Whew. See how blinding that highlight is? So freaking pretty. I'm wearing it right now. So in case you want to know what highlight I'm wearing, that is Fuego. <laughs> I love this freaking highlighter. So super excited to have another one. So next item that I picked up was from Cinema Secrets. If you guys don't know about them, they are a pro cosmetics store. And what I picked up, I only picked up one item, but it is my professional grade makeup brush cleaner. I bought a sample of this in Sephora a couple months ago. The way that this cleans, like how in-depth this cleans and how easy it is to switch from one person to another without having to wait for your brushes to dry and with being properly sanitized is incredible. Like this stuff is so quick. I dip it in, you dip it in a tin that looks like it's actually this tin. So it's a tin like this, there's bigger ones out there, but you use this tin, swirl your brush in the solution, dry it on your on your actual brush or on your cloth, whatever you're using to dry it off, use it on your towel, and then I kid you not, in seconds it's dried. So you can go on to moving into a different color, you can go into using like it on a different client because it's sanitized. So this is just such a great solution, and I could never find this big old bottle at Sephora. So I finally picked some up there and it was only $30. So next stop that we went to was Morphe. Gotta love Morphe. Um, and I really, I didn't want to get too too crazy at Morphe because it's so easy because I got all the brushes lined up. And what I did get were, let's show you the category. So for brushes, I just picked up a few. Um, I haven't replaced my brushes since I've been doing my makeup, so I figured it was time to pick up some new stuff because mine are looking a tad bit um, busted as of lately. So, uh, so a brush that I got for contour is the M. 
what is this M? I just saw your number r13 brush so this is from the rose gold collection i thought this would be a good one to contour with um as i did like a lot more dense um denser brushes for that then i picked up the morphe r2 brush and it is this powder brush right here so very nice i felt like you could get on a lot of spots of the face with this brush so very nice big fluffy brush then i picked up the m556 which is this powder brush as well but this one i feel like it would be good for under the eyes to swipe away like any product or any you know excess powder when i'm baking whatever the case may be it's another good powder brush but a little bit more smaller so that was all i picked up for brushes then for lip products, which I'm actually wearing right now on my lips, I picked up their lip liner in the shade Sweet Tea, and it is a very pretty brown color. It was a very nice big lip liner, and it is almost like a, a brown, like a terracotta brown color, so it's very pretty, and it was only $2, so I was like, of course I'm getting a lip liner, duh. I didn't need no lip liner but I got it and then I picked up their liquid lipstick in the shade true story and this shade is very pretty so I like the packaging for one the packaging is very sleek very pretty very compact you can throw this in your clutch in your backpack whatever you may have and it isn't very drying like I'm wearing it right now for the first time and it feels comfortable it's not too like where your lips feel like they just hit the wind and you're they're super chapped but let's watch the color right here for you so it's a very nice pretty almost like terracotta brown so super super pretty i think this one would be very pretty even if you put like a little pop of nude in the middle it would look very nice so loved that shade i picked up what i thought was gel liner but it ended up being a brow pomade so this is in the shade um what shade are you? Latte. So this is in the shade Latte, but um, it is this grayish brown color. I used it as a liner today and I just topped it with the dark brown eyeshadow, but I thought this was a gel liner and I just realized today that it's not. So I'm going to use it for that and then if I need a new pomade, then I will use this bad boy. And going into makeup shack i have heard of this store so many times before and i've never gone into it i've never um actually bought any product from it but i was very surprised to see them at uh, imats this year so i just picked up a few things nothing too crazy um first being the majestic eyeshadow palette so this one i thought looked really pretty it's swatched pretty nice um, and it was only $11. I think she said normally it's $16. So still affordable. These are the shades. They are super pretty. Very pigmented. When I'm telling you this yellow over here is so, so pretty. So very excited to play in this. I think it's going to be a really nice um, colorful palette. But it also has your mix of neutral. Oh, I just stuck my finger in there. Fuck. Okay, whatever moving on but i definitely think it has a good range of neutrals and colors so you can definitely get some nice pretty looks with this so excited to try that i went ahead and picked up some brushes as well so i got the t68 blending brush it's a very nice brush like this but why not switch up my game then i got the t46 which is the steel fiber blending applicating brush so i thought this one would be really nice to use in the crease as transition shades whatever then i got the t31 which is this nice dense concealer slash contour brush so i figured i could use this under the eyes if i'm blending out concealer or like up here when i do my highlight and contour stuff like that i can really use this kind of brush for so love that then i figured as a backup brush i'd also or powder brush i'd get another one as well and this is the t7 so this one is a very pretty uh, very soft powder brush and it's huge so 
definitely covers a lot of my face very quickly so i figured this one would be good to have as well going into our cma you know i had to stop here and if you already know you already know why but i went and picked up my favorite translucent powder the rcma no color powder salt shaker if you will <laughs> um i picked up two of these they were only nine dollars so i bought two more just to be stocked for the year because you know i can't seem to get away from these and then i also i have combined bags in here so that's all that i got from rcma but they definitely had a lot more stuff that i wanted to check out but again i didn't want to go crazy so i just bought what i needed then i stopped at crown brushes and this one i got a couple of things so i did get a couple of things um first being their liquid eyeshadow or liquid glitter eyeshadows this one here is in the shade gls01 and this one here was a very pretty like rosy pink glitter color can you guys see that I don't know if you can see it but super pretty if you can see the other shade right there so this is the other one that I bought right here and you can see they're very reflective very pretty colors very glittery then they had a 12 piece eye set which is a bunch of different eyeliners and these were only $9.99 $9.99 guys. Okay. Basically it comes with three metallics. So it has a gold, a silver, a purple, and then it has this green, a white, a black, a brown, a red, a baby blue, um, or actually like a, a light blue, a black, and a, a lighter brown, and then a baby blue at the end. So you can see you get your full range of colors here. And for only nine bucks, I was like, shoot, say no more. So and that's all I got at Crown. And it was just those two eyeshadows and the pencils. So very excited to have those. And now last but not but certainly not least is the Ofra Boo. I stopped there because they had a nice little presentation and I was like, let me check out what they got going on, especially because they had that $150 palette in our bag. So I was like, maybe I'll go stop by, purchase something else. So I did, <laughs> they got me for my money, but all of their skincare was 10 and $5, 10 and five. Okay. So I was like, Hold on a second. I always need skincare. So I picked up a, a few things. The first thing I got is the vitamin C cream. So this one says it delights your skin with moisture and anti-aging effects. Then I got a soft pearl peel. And this one says that it is supposed to um, be a blackhead, blackhead and dead skin eliminator. So this one just says to basically put this on your face let it dry for five to ten minutes and then rub off gently so that one is a little bit more interesting and i got the foaming vitamin c cleanser and this cleanser is supposed to refresh it is gentle cleanser that removes dirt oil and leftover makeup so this one i thought was pretty cool because it is a pump and um, you use two pumps and you massage into your face and it removes all the um the dirt and makeup left over on your skin but it is also recommended for morning and evening for problematic skin so it is gentle enough to where you can use it multiple times a day i got the primer so this is just their silicone primer gel yeah so that completes ofra and that actually completes my whole haul i know it doesn't seem like much to me i feel like i got a ton of stuff more than what I went in for but I had a great time for being that I only went one day it was such a blast I I literally I love going to these conventions I love seeing other makeup artists seeing the talent that's there it just it's so amazing so for me personally if you are able to get an insider pass next year or if you're considering it I would definitely do it it's worth the money you get in early um, on Saturday at least I don't know if next year it'll be the same but for this year 
if they do it on any of their other shows. Um, the bag is worth it on its own. Gives you products that you, I don't think you would normally try or go to. So that's um, a great aspect on its own. And then as far as prices and IMATs go, of course you can't go wrong shopping there on your own as well. So I'd say get the pass, get some free makeup, and then splurge on all the other stuff that you don't get in that bag. That's kind of how I see it. So be sure to like this video if you enjoyed watching all this stuff. If you enjoy me making these haul videos definitely have a lot of fun showing you guys this stuff giving you guys my opinions especially when going and spending money on these passes and for the first time that they're actually doing this i thought it'd be great to share with you guys if it was worth it or not so that you can make the decision later on if you want to go and spend that money next year or at the upcoming shows so um without further ado i mean this is pretty much it be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and um follow me on my social medias i'm always on there and i think you guys will see a lot of great stuff coming within this year so i'm very excited um again yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i will catch you guys on the next one bye